Hello, you welcome to the news in brief on Graphic Online. In the headlines for today's edition, Supreme Court set October 26 to decide on Attorney General's review application over Justice Honyanuga's removal from Oponi's trial. Parliamentarians assure Ghanaians they will not fail the people on LGBTQI plus bill. 15-year-old boy dies during street brawl in Ahafo region. And Black Stars beat Zimbabwe away to improve 2022 World Cup qualifying chances. News in Brief is brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly, and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. And now the News in Brief. The Supreme Court has set Tuesday, October 26 to rule on a review application by the Attorney General challenging the decision by the court to prohibit Justice Clemens Honyanuga from presiding over the trial of Dr. Stephen Opuni, the former Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Cocoa Board. A seven-member review panel of the Supreme Court set the date after listening to arguments from the Attorney General, Godfrey Yebo Adame, and lawyer for Dr. Opuni, Samuel Kujo. The Supreme Court on July 28, in a 3-2 majority decision, prohibited Justice Honyanuga from presiding over the trial of Dr. Opuni and the businessman Seidu Agongo. The two are being tried for allegedly causing financial loss of more than 217 million cities to the state. The court held that Justice Honyaniga made certain pronouncements which can be interpreted to mean he had already found the accused persons guilty even before they opened their defense. The Attorney General said the Supreme Court committed a fundamental error of law when it relieved Justice Honyaniga of the case, but lawyer Kujo said the Supreme Court did not commit any error except to apply the law. The Minister of Parliamentary Affairs, Osei Chairman Sabunsu, is assuring Ghanaians that parliamentarians will not disappoint them in the consideration and passage of the anti-LGBTQI plus bill in Ghana. According to him, he believes no lawmaker is against the principles of the bill. Mr. Chairman Sabunsu was speaking to the press in Parliament on Tuesday to address a seeming confusion surrounding the stance of Parliament on the bill. While sections of the House have been vocal in their support for the bill, others have been accused of giving the issue a loud silence. But the minister said he was not aware of any MP being against the bill and that Parliament will act on public concerns. He, however, appeals to the public to cut off the emotions and sentiments they share when they call into radio and television stations, saying the emotions cloud out the rationality of the issues. Mr. Chairman Sambuns, who held the meeting together, with some leadership of the majority in the House, including the Majority Chief Whip, Mr. Frank Anodompre, and the first Deputy Majority Whip, Lydia Seram Al Hassan. There's no hiding of anything. It will be done in, uh, in the open, as we have you know, submitted every bill to. The citizens of this country should rest assured that Parliament would not turn our backs on them. We represent their interest in Parliament. And so we will do what is needful. We take you to the Afro region now. A street brawl between a group of boys at Boma in the Tano North municipality on Monday has resulted in the death of a 15-year-old Emmanuel Opong. Opong, who was stabbed, died while receiving treatment at the Boma Government Hospital. Another 18-year-old Collins Akpabli of the Boma Ebenezer International School is also battling for his life at the Boma Government Hospital after being wounded during the incident. According to the police, the unfortunate incident happened about 10 a.m. during a fight between the two group of boys. The police say they have begun an investigation to establish what caused the fight. So far, four persons have been arrested and are currently in police custody. 33 elected assembly members of the Bibiani and Nyasu Bekwai Municipal Assembly are calling for fresh voting over government's chief executive nominee for the municipality. They say an election that claimed to have confirmed the nominee was illegal and should be declared null and void. According to the aggrieved members of the assembly, of the 52 members, only 19 were invited on Sunday to confirm the nominee, Mr. Alfred Amwa, who is gunning for a third term in office. The 33 others claimed they had no wind of the meeting. 
Addressing the media, the spokesman of the aggrieved members, Mr. Nulav Jesse, who is the assembly member for Amyaso Electoral Area, said on Sunday, October 10, 2021, the regional minister for Western North, Mr. Richard Obain, instructed the coordinating director of the assembly to invite all 16 government appointees and three others to the meeting. I am not in support of what happened. We are also not here to accept illegality to become legal. We have 52 assembly members who belong have to confirm the MCE nominated by the president. To our surprise, they maneuvered to call 19 out of the 52 to confirm the MCE on Sunday. What worsens the plight of this election at all is that the 33 left were not invited at all. Pelo, the secretary to the assembly, who is the coordinating director, ought to have written to all assembly members that they are going to confirm the MCE after we have successfully, successively elected a presiding member. A case in point is where we have met several times without electing the presiding member. In sports, the senior national team, the Black Stars, on Tuesday managed to beat the Warriors of Zimbabwe in the second leg of the 2022 FIFA World Cup qualifier. The results from the National Sports Stadium in Harare left the Black Stars top the Group G with nine points, ahead of a clash between South Africa, who are home to Ethiopia. The Black Stars on Saturday, October 9, defeated the Warriors by three goals to one at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. watching we see you again with another edition stay safe and protect yourself from covid19 for more news visit graphic.com.gh or log on to facebook at daily graphic and on youtube at graphic gh i am juliet echa Safo. subscribe now